Parapreta Sanitation. Part 5. Charcoal Production in Wood Gas Stoves. My name is Kimo Palmu. I do research at the Institute for Wastewater Treatment and my topic is to produce biochar from sewage sludge. I also have done some experiments with other digestion residuals. The whole initiation for the biochar research uh, a few decades ago was uh, the Terra Preta, the discovery of Terra Preta in, in the jungle of Brazil. One uh, big component in this soil is char, probably from the woods, from the trees, from that, from the unscient trees that were uh, turned to char. And nowadays we have this huge biochar research where we are turning all possible biomasses to char and trying to find a recipe to produce a soil like terra preta. You just need the right temperature and uh, an anaerobic conditions and then you can turn with or without water everything, every biomass in biochar. And uh, I have processed it here, as you can see, a piece of sewage sludge. So that has been turned to biochar and now has been dried. So actually it was a sludge, but through the drying it uh, gets hard, but I can crumble it easily. That's not dry, but it's still quite dry consistent. Uh, it has been mycelage that has been digested to produce biogas and uh, the residuals I have turned at 200 degrees in biochar. Works also perfectly. The cleaner the product is, uh, the cleaner also the char. So in the uh, sewage sluts um, is of course that's waste and th there are also heavy metals and non-unwanted compounds but my sewage is a, a cleaner product. It's actually the rest of the, the corn plant. Through the carbonization, turning some biomass in char, so, uh, the volume is reduced. It's a condensation process and uh, you lose a little bit of the total energy, but the energy content of this uh, final product is a lot higher than the energy content of the biomass. Actually, there should be almost a half of the energy left in the char, almost. That's pretty much. So it's oh, still the char is a, a valuable product. If you start charring wood, or other biomass in pyrolysis process, uh, there is um, there are generated a lot of pyrolysis gases. Why pyrolysis can also be f uh, worked in small scale is just to see that you have a perfect ignition and uh, all the gases are burned. Then you can be sure that everything that's released is more or less CO2 and uh, no more harmful gases are released in the atmosphere. This can be done by stoves. The point is here in this stove that you have actually anaerobic conditions. And the great advantage is that uh, you uh, make a gasification, you get the pyrolysis gas out of it and you burn the gas in the upper part of the stove. So you have no particle emissions because that's a problematic when you just put burn wood, you have a lot of gases lost and particle emissions and uh, here you have a very clean uh, burning and then you have the nice residual which could be produced because in the lower part of the stove it was anaerobic conditions. The advantage of here is it's a nice process you can do as you, can, as you saw and you can see in a very small scale actually everywhere in the world where you have some woody material you can do it, you have small amounts Wood is pure product, so you will also get uh, more or less pure uh, carbon. But, uh, you need have to have some use for the heat, because always when you're doing pyrolysis process, uh, you have some uh, excess heat, and this you should be used for cooking or for some industrial or other process where you just need the heat. So if you have there a nice burning, a nice fuel from wood, um, then you can use the heat and have still the char that you can use on the fields afterwards. If you are further interested, please click on some of these uh, flickering subjects.